Hey everybody, it's me, Remy, the comic book poser, and I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Poserverse. I bought some books from somebody on Instagram, and to find out who it is, and why you should pick some stuff up from them too, you'll have to check out after this. Okay, so I was doing as all of us do, I was just kind of flying through Instagram, and I came across Chip Gettler's Instagram page, and he was doing like a fire sale, right? That he had books that he had picked up that didn't fit in his collection anymore, were taking up some space, and had some insane deals on some indie books that I was a big fan of. So I already, you know, done fought the bubble wrap. Uh, I've got two piles in here, so I'll be able to tell you why I got some of them. But what I thought was kind of cool is he, you know, made a little thank you card uh, with my logo on it, and it says, Poser, thank you so much for taking the time to look at my Instagram posts, but then to spend your hard-earned cash on my sale is amazing. Truly appreciate it, Chip Gettler. And you'll see that he's got Instagram and YouTube information that I will uh, link in the description down below. Everything was packed really, really well in the long media mailer box. Everything was bubble wrapped, bubble wrapped uh, with pull tabs. And I like that he's pointing out where the tabs are at on there. I need to do better at that than on mine, but some of y'all have seen my actual handwriting. Um, and you know why I don't. Because I write like a three-year-old having a seizure while riding a train in the midst of an earthquake. So let's see what we got here in pile number one. I don't know if I remember if I picked that up or if he threw that in there for me, but uh, the Ash Cane for Kilchella, I'm picking a bunch of those up. If you watched uh, my random live with the burritos, uh, I don't know, a while ago, a couple days ago, depending on when I decide to release this, uh, I unboxed a bunch of stuff that I picked up from Scout. So this first pile, uh, blew my mind uh, in terms of being able to find uh, these books for a really really good price and have I read them yet no has it been something that everybody has told me I need to read yes criminal so I've got image comics brew Baker and Phillips criminal one two three four Five and six at a really good price. Next up, filling in some of my new mutants holes in my run. So there's new mutants 31. Had a, some dead pill dead pool kills the Marvel Universe again. So number one. Two, three, and a variant for four. And I love Colin Bunn. I did not know that he wrote some Deadpool Kills the Universe, which shows you how not smart I am. Uh, and then the last one here is Patience, Conviction, Revenge. And I only picked this up because I've never heard of it, but I like uh, some of the other stuff that I've read from Patrick Clinton. Um, so I figure finding a number one from After Aftershock is not dangerous for me at all because I don't end up buying almost the full run of every Aftershock book that I pull. I think there's only one book that I did that to and I think I stopped pulling it after three issues, but I also haven't seen issue four of that series come out. And some of you all maybe could guess what book it is. And you know I don't go negative. Uh, I just stopped talking about that. Um, next, my buddy Cole from Comic Burrito is going to laugh at some of this because I was on one one night on the Discord, as I usually am, and um, he recommended a book to me, and I was like, what in the actual shit is going on in this story? And it ended up being... Really, really good, really interesting, really cool art. Uh, 
So I can't remember how many issues we are into it now, but I've got, excuse me, one through 12 of Merca and Dolfo's Unnatural. So there's one. There's a varying copy of one. Two. Three. Right? No, four. Five. Six. That's a dope cover. Seven. Another cover for seven. Another cover for seven. Eight. Two copies of nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. So this book ended up being really good. Uh, I, like a lot of folks, like Marka Andolfo. I really think that she's talented uh, on the art game. I really, really like the, the series that... Uh, I've read of hers that she's written Mercy is up next on my to read pile after I finish reading some unnatural that I got hooked to it on Hoopla uh, but I spent way less than I should have uh, on this pile of books because he'd had them up on his Instagram for a while and ended up running off a like 50% off sale uh, and had some really good things but he's posting books every now and then on his Instagram. There are literally things there for just about everybody that uh, the day that I'm recording this on Valentine's Day when everybody's asleep in my house, uh, I picked up two issues of I can't remember what because it's been a long ass day and my kids are well. But you should check uh, Chip out. He's got good stuff. We've had good conversations back and forth on Instagram. Seems like uh, a pretty good dude. So you should Check out his sales. Find some good books at good prices that uh, may fill some holes in your collection. Let me know what you think about what I picked out in the comments down below. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.